Okay, it is a great day today for flying. Uh, sky's blue, full of some fluffy clouds, really. Uh, some broken stuff low down, but uh, looks really good above that. Uh, I'm going to make a quick, uh, about a 30-minute flight today over to Tampa and hopefully um, give you some background uh, on where I stand right now with uh, 383 Julia Tango, maybe uh, share a little bit of the Abdine in flight and how I'm beginning to learn that platform. Um, so, great day for flying. Enjoy the flight. See you in the air. Okay, welcome to the cockpit. Uh, we're just going to go through our uh, Cirrus checklist here. Make sure everything's covered. And uh, before we do that, uh, we're going to get our ATIS. So one two five nine seven five. We can get on radio two. Approach frequency one one nine point four. Notice airman taxiway Bravo two closed. Taxiway Bravo between taxiway Kilo and spot eleven closed. Taxiway Bravo one closed. The aircraft the wingspan greater than seven nine or feet. Taxiway Bravo between taxiway Bravo one spot eleven. Surface markings not standard. Taxiway Bravo one surface markings not standard. Clearance delivery is closed. All departures contact ground control frequency 121.35. Tower frequency 120.3. Advise on initial contact. You have ATIS information Lima. Okay. Lima, let's get winds. Tower ATIS information Lima, time 1453 Zulu, wind 06011, visibility 10. Few clouds at 4600. Temperature 240.12, altimeter 3008. Visual approach, runway 9 or left, 9 or right, and use landing departing. Okay, 3008 for our altimeter. Okay, got those coordinated. And we got Lima. Let's go ahead and finish our checklist. Cabin heat defrost is on. It is Florida, and it is getting warm. And we just filled the tanks up. So we're going to start on the right tank here. Do our run-up, and uh, then I'll be back with you when we do our uh, taxi. Uh, we are um, taxiing over to uh, 9 right here at Sanford. And today I'm going to take a quick little 35-minute flight over to X-Ray Tree Niner, which is uh, North Tampa Air Park. Going to see Mom. So it was a good day to fly, good day for the flight. I figured uh, let's get out and go do something. And time permitting on the way, I'll just kind of give you a little bit of a, an update on to, you know, what my situation is right now, why I don't have Vern hanging out here next to me, yelling at me, and giving me a hard time. Um, I do finally have my certificate in this beautiful SR-20. It's been a long time coming. It's been a, kind of an interesting story, so uh, we'll uh, kind of go through that. Let's go back to my checklist here, make sure I'm all set. Flaps are going to be 50. And we do have a transponder code. We did check our autopilot. We did do our navigation brakes power. Pedo navigation, voltage check, landing light, magnetos. We checked those. Checked engine parameters, parameters, flight controls are free and correct. Our trim is set. Our autopilot is disconnected and we're done with that list. Let's call up tower and get out of here. Sanford Tower, 383 Julia Tango, holding short nine right. This is 383 Julia Tango, Sanford Tower, fly heading 110, runway nine right, take off. Fly heading 110 for nine right, 383 Julia Tango. Okay, they're going to route me south and around. 110 is my heading. Okay, are we, yes, we are recording. Let's go ahead and do a country club roll here. Throttle forward and right foot down. That's how it goes in these Cirrus aircraft. And engine page is on. And we are have airspeed. We are in the green. We have rotate power. And we're flying. 
build up some speed. Pull the flaps out. Turn on our. There we go. Turn on our. Our Bose headset, noise canceling headset. Oh, look out! Look out, bird! Look at these birds. Okay, we're almost 500. We're going to make that turn to 110, which we're going to do right now. There we go. Caps is available. Two, three, Julia Tango heading 110. Contact on the departure. Okay, that is 119.4, uh, correct? Affirmative. Have a good day. Thank you. See you. to uh, X-ray Tree Niner. Can I get flight, flight following, sir? Action 452, IDAT, what is your request? For the ILS and then uh, localized to full stop for Action 452. Action 452, flying 060, and just hand the ILS approach to the full stop. 60 and set the ILS to full stop, and then 452. Number 6337 Alpha, maintain VFR outside of Bravo Airspace, swap VFR to change the group. Three three Julia Tango, go direct X thirty nine. Can I get flight following? Number three eight three Julia Tango, flying two one zero, clear to the Bravo. Two one zero, clear to the Bravo. Three Julia Tango. Connection four six two, climbing maintain four thousand. Four thousand four six two. Okay, so. Number six seven five zero, Papa advised when you'd like to cancel IFR. Uh, Sierra Papa, go ahead and cancel IFR at this time. Number 5, Sierra Papa, letter service terminated. Squawk VFR, frequency change approved. Squawk VFR, frequency change approved. Bye, right, Sierra Papa, thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, number 3A3, do a single flight in 260. 260 for 3 Joe Tango. Connection 337, come and maintain 4000. 4000. Orlando way up there in the distance. 
little bit of chop, a little bit of thermals here. There's my uh, my plan. There's our heading. Let's come back a little bit. Get a little bumpy up here. Okay, we're doing our navigation for 383 Juliet Tango. Thank you. Start direct. Enter. Enter. Okay, now that puts us on the nav. And we're going to go nav. Now the plane's going to turn in that direction. Going to follow that magenta line all the way in. We're going to cut back to cruise power here. We don't need to go this fast. Not much power doesn't really help us. So now we're off the heading indicator and we're on the autopilot. In this case, the IFD 540. Just put it in and the Merlin joined it. You can see it's telling us there's a flat Bravo. We've already cleared the Bravo. So we're good there. A little bit off, um, off our position here as far as the iPad is concerned, but that's all right. We're okay. Three, Julie, Tango, can we get higher? Three, Julie, Tango, can you stand by for me, please? Are you in the bottom? Uh, affirmative, we're currently at 2,500. Yeah, are, you, are, you having a, uh, are you in the bottom of the cloud or something like that? Yeah, no, it's a little bumpy. I thought I'd get a little better up top. Okay, uh, how about you? Are you in the bottom of the cloud or space? I've got snare lines above you around you, so I'll just stand by for me, okay? Thank you, sir. Three, Julie, Tango. Um, probably the hardest thing to do, for me anyway, I'm sure for a lot of pilots, is talking to those guys. And, yeah, granted, they're on a light shift today, but he's probably real busy. So he wants me, he wants me skirting the bottom of the Bravo. Yeah, because we are cut through the Bravo. We are in a higher area of the Bravo. Three, three, Julia Tango. You're outside of the Bravo, resuming on navigation. Squawk VFR for exchange approved. Okay, Squawk VFR for three eight three. Julia Tango, see you. Connection 688, with our contact, three miles south of the pop, six with jet of arrival. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and come. We're going to get to climb up. Four thousand five hundred. Hopefully away from these thermals. Vertical speed. Connection 452, Panther Town, 1203. Connection 463, clear direct Lakeland. And slow climb, 500 feet per minute is fine. Five minute, you know, a couple minutes. Four minutes, four minute climb. Happy, Eastern, five eight Bravo. Four minutes, four minute climb. Happy Easter, five eight Bravo. Connection three thirty seven is going to maintain two thousand. Two thousand. We're enriching our mixture. During the climb. We're going to get too hot. Mike's going to maintain 5,000. Expedited descent, Travis, 1 o'clock, 5 miles, 5,700 feet, indicated type unknown. Okay, expedited descent to 5,000, cancel 17 Alpha Mike on the 360 heading. Thank you, November 5, Delta Victor, Orlando, folks. Uh, what's the request? Verify you have the ADIS. On the VOR, folks. 
Melbourne VOR, maintain 4,000. I will maintain 4,000 until it arrives. Victor Cruz, 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 Okay, so we're kind of out of his way now. Number 17 Alpha Mike, no landing runway traffic information available for a Topka. Expected little approach, you could direct when able. Okay, down to 5,000. I do have the weather, expect the visual, uh, direct uh, 17 Alpha Mike. Number 5 Delta Victor, climb out, uh, climb out instructions, runway heading 2,000, return to frequency. Connection 348, 348, letter to the Terminator, squawk BFR, 62 change approved. Squawk BFR, 62 change approved, connection 348. Okay, so we'll get kind of close to the Magic Kingdom over here. I'll see if I can get some, some video. Um, be off our left wing. Might be a little too far, though. I don't see it. We're kind of skirting across... Uh, West Orlando. Lake Apopka is right here on our right hand side. We're just on the southwest, uh, southeast corner of Lake Apopka right now. Okay, so for those of you that uh, are wondering why this is a solo flight and I actually look like I know what I'm doing. Um, because I finally did get my check ride in the SR-20. I passed. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to say, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but uh, I was 95% done with the check ride the first time around. We had a situation where my FAA examiner got into an argument with, the, with an ATC controller during the check ride. Um, kind of flustered me a little bit and I entered a pattern wrong. I was 95% done and throughout the entire check ride the DPE was like excellent, perfect, great job. And then I screwed it all up with a dumb move by entering a pattern in the wrong direction. So he took the plane into the check ride. Uh, I had to come back and finish literally 5% of the check ride. And he did throw a couple more emergency maneuvers at me just to be, just for good, uh, good measure. So I did, second time around, I went back, Vern and I drilled some pattern entries and signed up my logbook. And the second time around, piece of cake, everything went really well. And here I am, heading to, uh, heading to Tampa on my own. Plane looks good. Plane feels good. So for those of you that have a um, the old uh, the Avidyne system in your Cirrus, and this is this is something that uh, I literally had to learn how these things work. But for those of you that have the Avidyne, uh, I had a flashing. I had a flickering in the Avidyne, and uh, let me go over to uh, local traffic. Two one zero three two one. Thank you. Four four six. Okay, one two three five. Okay. Um, this I want to monitor traffic. I want to go over my map page here, and it's looking pretty, pretty empty. Let my camera go. I get a picture of this. So you can see right now, not a whole heck of a lot of traffic in the area. We're looking good. There's a guy up here. That's about it. Wonderful. Um, so anyway, um, so this is the uh, the new uh, 540 had installed by Airworks at the uh, southeast ramp in Sanford. You can see we're on our nav. 
uh, doing pretty well. We got a ground speed of about 136 knots. See there, 37 knots, give or take. So we got pretty good airspeed of 147. So we are getting, all right, it's catching up now. 140. And uh, Airworks put this in, did a great job. Again, uh, going back to the Avidyne, I had a flicker, and the screen would, would flicker once in a while. The other thing I noticed was that my circuit breaker, down there, my Alt-2 circuit breaker, also had, an, had a tendency to trip during my run-up. It's kind of weird, and it kind of happened in tandem with this flicker. So, how are the clouds over there? So basically, what they did is what what Chick found. What Chick found out is there was a a ground wire coming out of the baffling in the engine. It was rubbing against the aluminum baffle, and I was getting a I was getting a short. And of course, that was showing up on the PFT. So for those of you that are wondering how could this possibly happen, check those battery ground leads. Make sure that. Um, uh, that your uh, battery ground leads aren't rubbing against anything <clears throat> because that's what will cause, at least I hope, and judging from the flight so far, all it looks good. So far, so good. Vertical speed. That puts us well under the shelf. 3,000 foot shelf. Tampa North 383, Julia Tango, Sirius SR20, uh, gonna come over the top. 1,500 for a right. Traffic on runway 14, Tampa North.
Winter Haven, Dresden, Skyline, Han 6, Tango, Golf, left base, runway 5, Winter Haven. Left Plant City, 2188 Golf, and take a runway 104, departure to the south, Plant City. Tampa North, 3 3 Juliet Tango on right base for 14. Any traffic, Tampa? The Travis Valley 9 6 Tango Golf, final runway 5, touch and go. Five hundred. One fifty six, a star one zero, three three alpha, left base, circle one zero. Tim and North, uh, three three two and one final, final for one four, can't be any problem. Yeah. 